This isn't Bring It On. As much as we love the movies, it's not Bring It On. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Netflix original docuseries. As more humpbacks arrive, they begin to work in teams. She was onto something that literally changed how children play. Come here, you sexy beast. Hi, little man. For this list, we're looking at the best Netflix original documentary series, excluding documentary films, which is a whole other list. What Netflix original docuseries would you most recommend? Give us your recommendations in the comments. Number 10, The Toys That Made Us. In a bad day, I would imagine if a kid had a bad day at school, Luke will be waiting for him. This Netflix original seeks to examine the origins of history's hottest toy lines, from G.I. Joe and He-Man to Barbie and Lego. She was onto something that literally changed how children play. Creator Brian Volk Weiss, who's produced a ton of original content for Netflix over the years, says his inspiration for making the series came from a lifelong interest in toys and history. He found it odd that there was little to no information on the history of some of the world's most important toy lines, and set out to create a show that would detail the rise of everything from Star Wars figurines to Power Rangers action figures. This world of Transformers is yours, and it is his pleasure to, to kind of pass it on to the next generation to create. The series would also lead to the spin-off, The Movies That Made Us. We remember he used to say, yippee ki -yay, kids. yippee ki -yay, ki yay So that's how they got in the movie. If you're a nostalgia junkie, both are must-watches. Number 9, Wormwood. Leave it to Academy Award-winning documentarian Errol Morris to produce one of Netflix's most impressive original series. <laughs> Wormwood alternates between talking heads and cinematic recreations to tell the story of biological warfare scientist Frank Olson, who took his own life in 1953 by jumping out the window of his New York City hotel room. Or did he? It seemed to come from her in so many different ways that it became like the echo chamber of my childhood. You are never going to know what happened in that room. This is the question that drives the series forward, as Olsen's son Eric embarks on a quest to discover the true nature of his father's death, which may or may not involve the CIA. Whatever the case may be, you'll be treated to one of the best documentary series that Netflix has to offer. He's with Lashbrook, this key person. CIA. CIA. Number eight, Cheer. Most people would love to be one of the 20 on that. So they will do anything it takes to make that happen. You might already be interested in competitive cheerleading, you might not. It doesn't matter, because cheer is going to have you glued to the screen regardless. Following the Navarro College Bulldogs cheer team, the series focuses on the dedication of its stars in the lead up to the National Cheerleading Championship. Mackenzie is a super important part in the routine and with Daytona so close, we're screwed. Their sheer determination carries the show as they face and overcome one obstacle after another in pursuit of their passion. Inspirational and uplifting, this is a series that will have you rooting, and dare we say cheering, right up until the final credits roll. We want to feel good before we leave to go out and compete that we can do this. Number 7. Don't f*** with cats. Hunting an internet killer. Now it's unwritten, but it's understood. Rule zero. And rule zero is don't f with cats. The internet can be a dark place, but there are good Samaritans out there too. This true crime docuseries chronicles the efforts of amateur online sleuths to hunt down Canadian Luca Magnata, who in 2010 posted graphic videos of animal cruelty. Magnata was eventually apprehended in 2012, but only after committing a crime even more heinous. Call it grotesque, bizarre, a twisted story that keeps twisting. It's a warped and disturbing trip into the darkest depths of the internet, and it isn't for everyone. But for those willing to watch it, it's an intriguing true crime mystery and satisfying takedown of a psychopath. I thought this was going to be like a two-day thing. Two days, I thought, I'll join this group, take my mind off my breakup. I never imagined that we would be, you know, doing this for 18 months. Number six, Evil Genius. I don't want to emergency. Yes, this is Bill Rothstein. Did you happen to pick up Marjorie Deal from 8645 Beach Street? Mr. Rothstein. Yeah, uh, we are looking into that many as we speak. This bizarre true crime docuseries is the kind of show you can binge watch in one day. It seeks to unravel the inexplicable true story of pizza delivery man Brian Wells, 
who in 2003 robbed a bank with a bomb strapped to his neck. Hooked yet? The show's slow reveal is what makes it great, tantalizing viewers with a slew of equally plausible theories. In 2003, she and Ken Barnes had a huge fight about money she owed him. She refused to pay. So Ken told some friends to rob her. At the heart of it all is a woman with a dark past and a conspiracy so strange you have to see it to believe it. Number five, our planet. He's looking for seals, which make up the bulk of his diet. When Planet Earth came out in 2006, it was a revelation, with unprecedented footage that knocked off audiences' socks. Then came Planet Earth 2, Frozen Planet, and Blue Planet 2, each pushing the boundaries of what was possible in nature documentaries. Given this track record, it's no surprise that our planet is a must-watch. As more humpbacks arrive, they begin to work in teams. With British producer Alastair Fothergill at the helm again, and living legend David Attenborough handling narration, you're in good hands. Our planet explores nature's mind-blowing diversity, but also the devastating impact that humans are having on the environment. So prepare to marvel at nature's beauty, but also to be staggered at how precarious it all is. We saved the whales by international agreement. Now it is time to save our oceans. Number four, Chef's Table. Netflix has no shortage of shows aimed at food lovers, but Chef's Table is a cut above the rest. Each episode focuses on a different world-renowned chef, inviting viewers into their kitchens to discover what it takes to be considered a culinary master. A meal by Francis Malman, whether it's a special event that he does in the countryside or is in one of his restaurants, starts with visual. Featuring a slew of enigmatic and talented chefs, whose creations will have your mouth watering and your stomach rumbling, Chef's Table is a must-watch for food lovers. People can't create anything truly significant in food unless they're happy when they do it. And if you're still feeling peckish after the show's four seasons, check out the producer's follow-up show, Street Food. Oh, and take in Ugly Delicious, which explores the history of a slew of tasty dishes around the world. When I entered in this vehicle, il centro storico, il commercio era tutto chiuso, i piccoli negozi chiudevano e tutti hanno detto di me è un pazzo, è un pazzo. Number three, Tiger King. Come here, you sexy beast. Hi, little man. Strap yourselves in, folks, because we are going for a ride. Tiger King is one of those docu-series where the subjects just seem too crazy to exist in real life. Sometimes he'd wake you up pointing a gun at you. He'd done that to me on multiple occasions. Following larger-than-life zookeeper Joe Exotic, the show explores allegations that he abuses animals and his feud with rival Carol Baskin, CEO of Big Cat Rescue. Things ramp up when Exotic accuses Baskin of being involved in her husband's disappearance. And that's actually far from the most insane thing that happens in the series. As the title suggests, it really is complete madness, something you have to see to believe. I finally moved my two chimpanzees last week. Probably one of the hardest days of my life. Number two, Wild Wild Country. He said, do you live here? And I said, yes, I, I live here. And he says, they are coming. Others are gonna be here. You've gotta see this docuseries to believe it. Wild Wild Country tells the extraordinary true story of Raj Nishparam, an international community formed in Oregon in the 1980s that served as the home of Rajneeshis, followers of controversial Indian guru, Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh. We are materialist spiritualists. Nothing like this has ever happened in the world. This is a new experiment. Featuring a never-ending series of unbelievable twists and shocking turns, Wild Wild Country can at times feel like a work of fiction, a story so bizarre it simply can't be true. However, the story behind it all is ripe with emotion and intelligence, drawing viewers in and refusing to let go. Warning, once you hit play, you will not be able to unglue your eyes from the screen. I had these creepy feelings in me. Before we unveil our most compelling number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Song Exploder. Based on a podcast, this insightful show explores the creative process behind great music. The song wanted to write itself, which I didn't know until it all made sense at the end, when it all came back around to the beginning, which it always does. The Confession Tapes. 
shines a spotlight on the role false confessions play in the justice system. The memo was fake, but then they said, our thugs, our minions with tentacles everywhere can get rid of that information if you just confess. Pandemic, how to prevent an outbreak. Enlightening and arriving with uncanny timing. This kind of carnage is not relegated to history. When we talk about another flu pandemic happening, it's not a matter of if, but when. Immigration Nation, an eye-opening behind-the-scenes look at ICE. Can I see the warrant? I'm not obligated to show it to anybody. I have a warrant, trust me, I'm not in here without it. All right, I have a warrant for his arrest. I gotta take him to the Southern District of New York. He's gonna be remanded today. Okay, but I need, can I see any paperwork? Yeah, no, I'll give you a card. Fear City, New York versus the Mafia a riveting true crime series about how the FBI took on the mob. People once called New York Fun City. Now the police and firemen's unions in New York are calling it Fear City. Want more Mojo? Ms. Mojo produces original, high-quality pop culture-related videos on all your favorite movies and shows. Plus, celebrity news, fashion, lifestyle, and more. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Ms. Mojo. My name is Sam. My name is Eliza. And I'm Emily. I'm Rebecca, and welcome to Ms. Mojo. If you want videos on all the best reality shows, teen dramas, Disney movies, and sitcoms, be sure to check out Ms. Mojo for new videos every day. Number one, making a murderer. No one ever intended to do anybody any harm by this. Uh, uh, we firmly believe that we had the uh, guilty party at the time. Arguably the most famous docuseries of all time, Making a Murderer transcended genre to become a cultural phenomenon. The series tells the story of Stephen Avery, a man who served 18 years in prison for a crime he didn't commit, only to be found guilty of murder four years after being released. But did he do it? The show's first season took home four Primetime Emmy Awards, including Outstanding Documentary or Nonfiction Series, and was praised by critics and fans alike. Stephen Avery spent 18 years in prison for something he didn't do. Making a murderer has enough drama to keep believers and skeptics entertained, as creators Laura Ricciardi and Moira DeMoss spin an intriguing tale of corruption, murder, and tragedy. They got our family all tore right apart. It's not right. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.